For this standby, I want to show you a little project I've been working on for my furnace and air conditioner. It's not so much a project as something I broke and haven't figured out how to fix yet. Right alongside my furnace, there's this little water pump. You can see it's plugged in, and there's this plastic tube, which is actually full of water. Water gathers in this little tray down here, and when the tray fills up, the water gets pumped up the tube. And it comes out by our laundry room sink. Why is there water by my furnace? Well, actually, a lot of water gets generated when you're heating or cooling a home because of this thing called condensation. Air all around us has water in it, water vapor. And when that air cools down suddenly, that water vapor turns into liquid water. Now, that normally comes out of the furnace through this little pipe right here, down and into the pump. When the heater is running, only a little bit of water is generated through condensation. But when the air conditioner is running, a lot of water is generated. This pipe is the one that's connected to the air conditioner. Now you'd think I could just buy some replacement pieces, but I cannot for the life of me find another piece of PVC that fits the hole in my furnace. So now anytime the air conditioner kicks on, water starts trickling out of this pipe. That's what the bucket's for. We can see the condensation of water vapor in other ways too. If I take this really cold tub of strawberry jelly, eventually the moisture in the air is gonna start to condense on this cold tub. You can already start to see it. I can like draw a shape in the moisture that's on here. Look at that, you can see drops of water on here. That's water that was gas in the air and now it's been turned to a liquid because it touched this cold surface. The exact same thing happens on a larger scale with my air conditioner. In just one hot day, this bucket could fill up three or four times with the water that's being pulled out of the air. It's a good thing I have a pump here to send it all to the sink. Now I just gotta figure out how to get this thing reconnected. There, maybe that'll work. 